Hello again. In 2006, the Sci-Fi Channel aired the pilot for the animated series The Amazing Screw on Head. I watched it at the time, and I loved it. But the question is, does it hold up, or have I outgrown it? And I can tell you, after watching it this morning, man oh man, I still love it. This really does hold up. The writing is phenomenal. I forgot how good it is and how funny it is. Uh, so The Amazing Screw on Head was based on the dark comedy one-shot comic book from 2002 by the same name. It's steampunk, it's camp, and the writing is just so phenomenal because it was brought over by Brian Fuller. You might know Brian Fuller from the shows Wonder Falls, Dead Like Me, Pushing Daisies, all really great shows. So it, re it just shows in this that the writing's amazing. Uh, the protagonist is played by Paul Giamatti, the amazing Turon Head, who is a over-patriotic superhero who fights dark evil. Uh, so what, I mean, what do I mean by over-patriotic? Well, a good example is, America is depending on me, Mr. President, and by America, I mean the world. So his first name is Screw in universe, his last name is Head, so there's a flashback scene where he's having picnic by a lake with a young love, in lunch, love interest, and she's like, oh, screw. But then, of course, she gets kidnapped by the bad guy and turned into a vampire, and then she becomes a villain herself. Uh, so there's some tension there, and they re-encounter each other later in the episode, and there's a great exchange of, is this how you spend your days now, running around telling rats to kill people? Rats like me. Of course they do. They're vermin. You used to love this vermin. I used to a lot of things. Ah, oh, phenomenal. So this brings us, of course, to the main bad guy of the show, who is Emperor Zombie, a former manservant of the amazing Screw on Head. So he's played wonderfully by David Hyde Pierce, and uh, just sort of was a human, turned into a zombie, is now undead, uses evil and magic to try to take over the world. So, of course, the line is, as I always say, all really intelligent people should be cremated for matters of public safety. Uh, because the pro protagonist and antagonist have this backstory, they eventually meet up, and that brings us to uh, you know, the, the wonderful exchange of... Sorry. Apologize to you, pardon me if I say poppycock. Then say it. Poppycock. You let America down. You let me down. You went on and on about how sweet the candy was and told me not to eat it and then got mad at me when I put it in my mouth. If by candy you mean ancient forbidden evil, then yes, I told you not to put it in your mouth. As I said, great writing. It's very quotable. What I just did was, you know, barely scraping the surface in terms of how quotable this show is. And I'm not ruining all the quotes for you. Uh, it, as I said, it's a pilot. It didn't get picked up, but it's out on DVD. Uh, so if you have a chance and you see it, I would recommend trying to get it and watching it. It's really worth it. Uh, I'm guessing that no one in my audience has ever seen this, so I'm hoping that you enjoy it. So, until next time, see ya.